And welcome back to 96B. This will be a scheduled release after 96, oh, 96A. Same day, it just will explain... Um, we'll continue on the episode, but it will explain what had happened. My, my, uh, my headset broke. It would not... Um, it was actually causing a feedback for the system. I had to physically... Um, turn it off, unplug all the USBs and plug it back in and that still didn't actually work. It still kept coming back with the feedback. Then the headset completely froze, did not work whatsoever. It didn't turn on or actually off, it, had, it just kept blinking at me. And then it died completely so I had to do, do a hard reset on the headset which then caused it to be fixed. So I'm not too sure what's going on with it but it's time for a new headset, I believe. Anyway, the headset that I'll probably aim for is the um, Asus, or Azus as some people call it. Um, I think it was called the Centurion. Um, uh, it's a brilliant headset. It comes with some really good features, and it is designed for gaming and clear sound through the microphone. But that is for another day. Anyway, so I was actually sitting here thinking, why have I got a farmer? Shouldn't I use a cloche? It would be so much easier than doing it this way. But I like the look of this, and I probably could produce more out of one of these than a cloche. So I'll just keep this, I think. It looks cool, and yeah. So let's get back to the episode in hand. I was going to do some quality of life upgrades by running power underneath and so forth and so on, but I think I'll hold off on that and do the... this... well, okay. It's not allowing me to pick this up anymore. Okay, so he's probably added that to the ban list. So that's fine, because I can just move it this way. My plan now is I am going to get these to auto cycle, hopefully auto cycle anyway, um, the bees from here. So let's just expand it a tiny bit each side. I don't know why I'm doing this. I should be actually, yeah. I really should have all this on the other side, but oh well. What I'm going to do is I actually meant to get some filters and stuff. So, can they sit on top? They can. Interesting. I will do that then. Be like, look, I'm a torch on a beehive. Anyway. I really want to move them now. The problem is, I'll need to get my shears out to cut the grass. And I need the leaves back. I will want to grab my ring. Turn you on. And grab all my dirt. And I just realized that I meant to grab some grass pasture seeds with it. But that's okay. This will make it a little bit easier for me. And always make another pasture seed and we'll grab this, put you away and you and you and we'll take all these back because I will do this let's see haha <laughs> see what happens we can play musical barrels and I'll win okay so I'm going to put a filter here and a pulley out one there and I will make sure these go through so we need to make um, I'm actually just gonna make a couple so I'm just gonna go ahead and be like I'm just gonna get five filters and five pulley out guys so so we want just some five servos with no actually I can do glass through here now can't I I want to grab, do what, 20 of them? There we go. Uh, can I use that? I can. I'll just use that. Not enough nuggets. And 
I will need actually more iron. I thought I was producing iron. Okay, so then we want the filters. Uh, the filters are missing paper. And I actually haven't got this automated yet. Um, I'll have to put a, a storage chest out because I don't want this to constantly keep replanting. So. And my point was to get more diamond or emeralds to finish off with this. I'm wondering if it remembers what my last one was in the system. Uh, spinach, kiwi, I think it did. Oh, queen bee. Name tag. Uh, no, these are all the other ones I've already got. Yeah, so I'm going to have to find out where it is. While I'm here, I actually will grab... I know I have some. There we go. I want to use into a pasture seed. While I remember. Thank you. And these eggs. Uh, whoops, uh, I pushed Q instead of right click. Ooh, that one went for a six. Okay, um. No. Uh. I wonder how quick this will grow. <coughs> and it's not too bad. It took its time though to grow that. That'll do for now. Ah, uh, that one. Now, we need to work out... Or actually, we'll need to do that as well. But we need to work out what's going to be pulled in and what's going to be pulled out. These can just be pulled out, no matter what. And then... These can be filtered and what goes in them. Okay, so these one it doesn't matter, doesn't matter if they take their time, but they will just pull out and push into here. Well apparently it just accepts no matter what back into here. Well, so we're going to do whitelist that. Whitelist that. I'm guessing. Nope, that didn't actually. Cool. So we whitelist that. And that. Okay, so. We want one of you bad boys to go there. I should have actually upgraded this one. Pull you in. And that is what I didn't want it to do. Um. think this through because you need the return I don't think it can come back in the return so let's just go do it uh, doink cut that off for a second 
I'm pretty sure this actually can't be pushed back through this point here, but I don't want that one to keep pumping out. Oh, that's right, I need to do this, don't I? Make a artificial grass scene for these guys. We'll do one there. I don't know if these are proper. And there. And go! Meadows. These should be working happily. Yay! Now we got to wait for these to die off. I know I can get um, some frames. Uh, chocolate frame? Uh, lifespan 0 0.5 production a lot more and durability so lifespan uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure oh not more soul soul sand would be nice we want that high mutation but we want to need or we really need to and impregnated sticks. See, hmm. I don't really want to have to do all that just as yet for impregnated sticks because that's expensive. Because that requires seed oil. Right, I do have quite a bit of seed oil, but the problem is, is this isn't up to production rate yet. I could make it up to production rate, right? but let's just have some fun anyway of working out what to do. Because as I said, we while the bees are in degrading stage, we will move on and do some other stuff. So currently, one of them is to do this. I'll grab the iron out, and I'll probably have to start producing more iron because we are quite low. And I still want to play around with that. So, and I need to get up a docking station now to put my scientific calculators in and with crafting and all this other f wizardry stuff that I need to do. Um, let's look at the docking station. So that needs a power cube which needs a furnace, which needs that. What well, actually should... I might actually get this to auto-craft. Hmm. I might change this up a bit. I might actually get the storage drawers and everything over here changed. So it's all in one area, even from the mob farm. Because then it only has to use one of the controllers and external bus. Um, and then properly move all these into chests because it's 16 either way from the middle and currently this here is blocking a lot of use of it so I think I might do that actually fill this out which I need a lot more do this while the bees are doing their thing uh, I might get the sojourn sash as well before I go too far well actually that's a good question uh, how much to make one of the item repairers so that's in uh, these are all empowered and the ender casing is still empowered diamonds stable ender pearl I could make that and then this is chrome advanced alloy carbon plate, machine casing uh, okay so that is that is very terrible so try to cheese something and they're like no you have to pay the consequence for that so I'm thinking here um, probably have to end up, well, I wouldn't actually have to end up moving that, um, 
into a couple more lines this way. And we should be good. Because I can always modify... Actually, this would have been... Do I have F7 on? No. And I went and double clicked. So this will be where the storage drawers come across. Um, it will just be a little bit easier to come here. Well, <coughs> so like that. So I'll move the storage to all those drawers and everything over to here. So how's that guys? And then I will, since this is just here, I can just come run off and then straight down into the controller as well. So let's do that. Yeah, I'll just do this. Uh, now, can I actually shift click one of these up? I want to place this first in a good spot. So, I reckon about here. It's a decent away from here. I can still expand this way for all this. And I could always move all this anyway. But I reckon this is a good spot, and this will give me a nice area over here to expand to as well. So, and then, it, yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah. There we go. So I'll be moving all these drawers over, and I'll actually put them in some decent order. And then I'll probably get to a point and be like, I want to color code all these gems correctly. And then spend, you know, half an hour color coding all of them. Check on the bees in the tick and see how it goes. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't push back into it. And at this rate, I probably will have to do a four high stack, but we'll see when we get there. Not too sure why I actually need lots of these. But let's uh <coughs> I could actually put the draw controller in the ground, but I like to right click on it. I know there is a way of packaging tape, I think it's called, to move all these, but shift right click is fine. Uh, let's go. I don't even know what half of these gems are for. I know the silent gems are for something. Uh, but the rubies and stuff. Okay, so this is going to be fun. This is all the different type of... Apparently I'll just move them all over there, then sort them out eventually. Probably will have to go four high. Especially with all these silent gems.
I wonder if I should push to into mechanism for a short time just to get the Inori crystals, not the uh, void crystals, so I can get my miner up. Because I think I worked out that I sh I could do it. I should record just see if I can do an episode in making it. And if I fail, I won't publish it. And if I do make it, I'll publish it. Just do it in like a little sky island off to the side. And then if I fail, I can just break it and throw it all away and be like, cry. I did my best. Okay, so now we have moved over all of these. Now we should... It's like playing Wheel of Fortune. What is behind this one? There we go. So that is a nicely stacked wall. Now... This would give me access to all the mob drops as well. So... It's like, I, I don't really need these in the system, but... I mean, having this attached would be good. Having having this, because then I can send that over automatically. Um, yeah. So... Let's... I'm just trying to think of a way to do it, but I'll just do it this way. Oh, you know what I should do. Uh, let's grab a stack. Two. And build some teleporters. The only one that I need to do, really, to get up and working is my flax seeds. Because I am annoyed that I can't just have a heap of stuff on hand. Okay... So we're probably going to have to use some bone meal, which is there. For some reason that doesn't flick there straight away. I think that is the one that does it. Yeah. But the problem is, you can't enter on it and then go you on things. So... And these disabled right clicking, holding it down, that is really annoying. What's he afraid of? Huh? Or she? I don't know which one it is. Okay, let's make some elevators. Okay, I probably should do more than that, but eh. And I will put it right. Yeah, sounds good. Hey, right in front of the system's perfect. If it wasn't, oh well, I would more uh, to fire some stuff. Oops. I keep jumping for some reason to go down. It's just a bad habit, I guess. And this will make it a little bit easier for me to do things with all the materials that are in here, except arrows. I don't even know why I was keeping arrows. Just weird. Like we need them eventually. We should really put a gem upgrade in them. 
and with them so we can store all that. some other things in there. <laughs> but I'm sure we can find some stuff to put in these drawers. I just realised that we don't have enough hardened flux. But well, that's okay. I'll just break all these. Actually, I should have done that one. So that's fine. Turn around. Okay. Um, we'll need some obsidian, which I think I did put in here. Five, which is not really that much. That will do. And some lead, which is not much. And there's some lead there. Stone. Hopefully, I've got enough to do a stack. So we should get some there. Cool. This way, keep that one. I need to change that to opaque. And my diamond one's nearly out, which I was hoping that I could use the item repairer to fix. But I, alas, I cannot. wait for that to go. Okay, let's quickly check our bees. Okay, let's see. But I'm pretty sure... Oh, wow. Here we go. Yeah. So it did pull out. See, oh no, it didn't. It's still there. Why aren't you pulling that one out? Is it a different genome? I might have to upgrade the filter for it to ignore. Okay. Let's just do that now. Now that will just go nuts and by send everything everywhere, which. whatever. I hope I win. <laughs> But at the current time, I will need to upgrade these. And hopefully I can do this. And then... I need some more Signalum. Got a little Swedish there. Meadow stock went in there anyway, so that's not too bad. Yeah, so we put you in there as a whitelist and ignore NVT, and it should allow any type in there. Yeah. And this one, we'll have to wait. Yeah. But that should hopefully work. Um, and we 
should get some lead. So we have chrome dust and magnesium already. I wonder if I can actually get into it, because I won't need that much to start off with it. And I might make some blood orbs. I think I need a little bit more than four. Um, it's delicious. Okay. What the hell are you going to be? This will be overloaded. <laughs> I hear an Enderman teleporting around. Fifteen. That should be enough to get this rockin' along. So, like this. Um, I should have made it a little bit closer. Oh. Well. That should pull out of here pretty decently. And I can stack this up high, which is good. Now I need more but to do over here. So, but this one, I wonder if I should move this whole entire setup into that corner. That will give this area a little bit. Nah, it should be fine here. Now I need to break this. I should probably make the wrench for this, shouldn't I? Oh, look at that. It is wrapping up point in time. And thank you for watching for this episode. Um, I will continue on with another episode. And I will work out, probably put it underneath and just come straight across and connect it into here. So, and it is an empty void underneath. Awesome. So, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next episode.